Hey guys, it's us, and, and welcome, welcome to Santorini, Greece! In this video, we'll unveil the beauty of Santorini, guide you to the best area to stay, showcase the stunning villages, provide car rental prices, highlight a must-do activity. If you're ever in Santorini, this is definitely a must-do. And reveal the best spot to witness Santorini's most mesmerizing sunset. We're pretty confident that by the end of this video, you'll definitely reconsider skipping this incredible island. So sit back, relax, and get ready to see the beauty of Santorini. Alright guys, so we're starting it off here at Ia. If you didn't know already, Santorini actually consists of many villages, Ia being the most popular. So if you come to Ia, this is where you will find the iconic blue domes, the white brush walls, and of course the beautiful caldera view. Alright guys, so Santorini has been Anne's dream destination since she was in her mother's belly. <laughs> this has been on her Pinterest board, this has been on her uh, Desktop, yeah, her wall. Paper. Honestly, it looks exactly like the photos, if not more beautiful. To be completely honest guys, a lot of people think this place is overhyped, but honestly, it is such a beautiful place. It's so mesmerizing here. The views, it's amazing. And you have to at least visit this place once in your life. This is actually a lot of people's bucket list, like dream destination, and I can definitely see why. It feels like a dream being here. If you've seen our previous vlogs, then you'll know that we were in Mykonos. So far, for first impressions, it is definitely hotter than Mykonos. Yeah. Mykonos is a little bit more breezy. Actually a lot more breezy. Yeah, because it's beside the ocean. Yeah, exactly. So Santorini is a bit hotter. But it definitely gives off a different vibe than Mykonos. It's two completely different islands. Yeah, no, totally. The best thing that you can do in Greece is get lost in the alleyways because you never know what's around the corner. You'll get some of the most breathtaking caldera views. Oh my gosh! This place is mesmerizing, stunning, beautiful, everything. The downside of staying in Ia, since it's the most popular village here in Santorini, is the crowds. So since it is summer here, there is hundreds of people. So we got some water from the supermarket. Just a tip, if you want to save some money, you can actually buy sandwiches, water, other essentials at their supermarket and they're relatively cheap. <laughs> so random. A random girl just came up to Anne's like, can I take a picture with you? <laughs> She's really kind though. Yeah, she's a teenager. Iconic blue domes are actually right behind us and in front of us. They're everywhere in this area. But if you guys are coming during the summer, be prepared to wait in line to take photos at some of the most iconic viewpoints. Oh my gosh, guys, the views are stunning, but god damn, it's hot out here, boy. <laughs> One of the main reasons why Ia gets so crowded is it's actually a really small village. You can get around the whole village in like an hour or so. Especially for sunset, since this is the most beautiful spots to watch a sunset in Santorini. Everyone just comes here, even from other villages. They bus here to see the sunset in Ia. See, Anliwan, pagod na. Mainit. Right behind us is St. Nicholas Castle. That's where we're headed to now. And this is the most popular place to watch the sunset in Santorini. There are a lot of other sunset views, but this one is the most popular. So if you guys are wanting to watch a sunset here, it's highly advisable that you come an hour before the sun sets.
babe, the views here are insane. I can see why now that this is a popular viewpoint, not only for sunset, but all day around. It's so beautiful. We're actually on the very, very edge of the island. So just at the bottom of St. Nicholas Castle, there's these steps that you can find leading down to Amudi Bay. So Amudi Bay is basically a beach where you can actually swim and cool off. And there's also lots of seafood restaurants down there where you can eat and have some fresh seafood. <laughs> we are now here at Amudi Bay. Oh, I'm pretty sure that this is also a very popular place to watch the sunset because the sunset's over there and you can dine at some of the most famous seafood restaurants here on the island. Did you even go to Santorini if you didn't take a boat tour? This is the best way to see some of the most scenic spots on the island. Alright guys, so since this is a sunset tour, we're actually currently having dinner now. It is included with the tour. Uh, we're just chilling right now, eating before the sun sets. The food is amazing. How's it baby? Hmm? How's the food? It's really good. Yeah. Look at how packed our foods are. Yeah, I know. later All right, guys. So as you can see, the sun is about to set. Uh, what's cool about the catamaran is you can actually see the caldera cliffs while you're on the boat. It's stunning. Look at that. Get your guide. Get your guide is your passport to over 60,000 curated experiences in more than 3,600 destinations worldwide. Experiences come straight from the locals in the know, ensuring your adventure is not only authentic but also incredibly enjoyable. If you've seen our Hawaii series about four months ago, Aloha, Aloha from, from Honolulu, Honolulu Hawaii. Hawaii! You'll know that we use the Get Your Guide app a lot to secure our adventures, like whale watching, submarine rides, and even that unforgettable luau. And as we venture through Europe, we're pretty 
pretty confident that the app will be accompanying us on the journey thanks to its reliable and hassle-free nature. One thing we love about the Get Your Guide app is that retrieving your tickets is super easy. We never have to print anything which is a huge advantage, especially for those who are constantly on the move. And if you find yourself needing assistance or having questions, rest easy knowing that the Get Your Guide app comes equipped with 24-7 support. So if you're ready to make your next vacation an unforgettable journey, that was so fun. make sure to download the Get Your Guide app. So we highly recommend adding Waking Up For Sunrise to the list of things to do in Santorini. This will give you the perfect opportunity to capture stunning photos at some of Santorini's famous spots without having to wait in line. And it also allows you to fully immerse yourself in the beauty of a quieter village and witness a breathtaking sunrise that is truly worth waking up early for. All right, we got a whip here in Santorini, Greece. Good morning. As you guys can see, we have a car. One of the best ways to see the island is obviously having a vehicle. You can also rent a scooter here and an ATV, but we opted for a car because it is cheaper here compared to Mykonos. We got the smallest one, it's automatic, and the cheapest car you can get, we paid 65 euros. That's during high season though. Low season, they range from around 45 to 50 euros for the smallest car. Make sure to call around to get the best deals as well. All right, let's go explore today, let's go. just got here at Fira. Ia to Fira by car is only around 20 to 25 minute drive but if you want to take the bus you can do that also which is the cheaper option probably costs around two to three euros. Alright guys so if you didn't know already Santorini is actually 80% farmland. If you want to see the caldera cliffs you have to either go to Ia or Fira. The rest of the island is just farmland and flat. There's a heads up. So, if you want to stay in Thera, it's actually more affordable to stay here than Ia, and you still get amazing caldera views. Abe, what do you think of Thera? The view is beautiful, but nothing beats the view in Ia yeah. for me. Being in Thera so far definitely feels like a downtown. There's a lot more restaurants and shops than in Ia, and they also have a shopping center that has a lot of well-known brands like Fira, Adidas, Puma. Alright, so like what Anne said, there's definitely more shops here in Fira. Because Ia is kind of small, no babe? Yeah, people just go to Ia for the views, but if you want to do a lot more than sightsee, then definitely yeah. head to Fira. Alright, time to shop. <laughs> As you know, I love local boutiques, so I had to come in here and check it out. How much is it for a ring? It's 36, 36 euros. euros.
you guys haven't noticed yet, a lot of their souvenirs contain an evil eye. These evil eye represents good luck and repels negative energy. They have the evil eye everywhere. You'll find it on blankets, bags, whatever these are. Home decor, I think. Magnets, even jewelry. They have it everywhere in Greece. Alright guys, as you can see, the line for the bus is pretty hectic at this time and that is one of the main reasons why we rented a car and especially for 60 euros a day if there's four of you guys splitting that it's quite affordable even for Anne and I, like we thought it would cost more in Santorini but it's actually not too bad Alright guys, so before we get lunch, we are visiting another village called Imerovigli. <laughs> <laughs> this village is actually between Ia and Thira, so it's in the middle. Supposedly, this is a quieter village. So far walking in this village, it is way quieter than Ia and Thira. So if you guys are looking for a more quieter place to stay, even eat, or even have a day trip, this is the place. To add on to what Anne was saying, all the restaurants that we're passing, it's literally empty. There's like nobody here, which is surprising. Oh my gosh, stunning. I feel like we have it all to ourselves because it's so quiet here. Why are you whispering? Because it's so quiet. <laughs> So behind me right here is actually a famous landmark here in this village. It's called Skaros Rock. So it is a 30 minute hike. It looks really beautiful, but unfortunately we don't have the time to do it. And it's really hot and Anne doesn't want to do it. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys want to do a hike, there's one right there. All right, so what the heck? This village actually has an amazing view of the caldera cliffs. We didn't know that. I thought it was only Fira and Ia. Wow, so underrated. And like we said, there's nobody here, guys. Yeah. It's just us. Look at this. Look at that. View. It's what? amazing up here. Oh my gosh, that's why it pays to explore. We're so high up right now. It feels like the highest point. Yeah, we're actually higher than where we were in Fira. Wow, I am mind blown right now. Fun fact, what we learned on our boat tour yesterday is that Santorini actually used to be a circle island. When there was a volcanic eruption many, many years ago, some of the island collapsed and that's why it's shaped the way it is today. Yeah, now they're all like separated now. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. What a trip, huh? on the island because it's actually situated on a beach. You guys don't know, Santorini is not known for their beaches because all of their beaches are rocky. So you won't find any white powdery sand here in Santorini. You are by the ocean. You're paying for the view, but the food also looks really good. So my burger was 20 euros. How about yours? 17 euros. Castle of Ia 
area. It's like we said this morning, this is the best place to watch the sunset. It's currently 7.45 p.m. and the sun sets at around 8. Check it out, guys. Boom, everyone's here too, watching the sunset. <laughs> Yeah, it's we knew it crazy. was gonna be packed. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And we still didn't come early. We still got a spot though, behind everybody. <laughs> to be honest, guys, I don't even care if there's so many people here. I came for the sunset, and the sunset I got absolutely stunning. Alright, so we just came back from watching the sunset and I can definitely say that was the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, oh my in gosh. Greece the sunsets are always perfect. Yeah, there's like literally no clouds in the sky. Not a single one. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. And as you may have noticed, um, a lot of people actually clap when the sun sets and mm. it is actually very common for people to applaud when the sun sets here in Greece to show their admiration for the sunset. And for a lot of people, it's an unforgettable experience for them so mm, yeah. they applaud. I thought that was really cool. Yeah I mean if you saw that sunset you would clap. You would clap too. <laughs> God damn it was perfect. It was a 10 out of 10 baby. So unfortunately this brings us to the end of the vlog but before that we want to share final thoughts with you about Santorini. Jan and I coming here to Santorini we actually thought we were gonna spend a lot more than we actually did yeah. because of all the posts we've seen online of these extravagant expenses a lot of people saying that you know for a hotel room they spend about 600 euros per night yeah. and 100 euros per meal per person mm -hmm. we came here expecting to spend and money baby go <laughs> yeah. bro but yeah. actually we didn't no, for example we have an amazing four-star hotel that we have booked here in the heart of ia literally right in the heart of ia like yeah. caldera cliffs is a 10 second walk. It's yeah, literally like, right there, I can see it. Yeah. And during high season as well. And yeah. we only paid about 100 euros per night. I would just say, if you guys are coming to Santorini, definitely take everything you see online with a grain, grain of, salt of salt because yeah. it doesn't have to be as expensive as people yeah. say. It can be though, yeah. if you want it to be. I feel like the people who are posting <clears throat> those kind of stories and reels and posts, they're booking at five-star hotels mm -hmm. with the caldera views, eating at restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. You absolutely do not have to do that to get no. an amazing experience. We have actually been shopping at the local supermarkets for some of our meals. and that's Yeah, yeah. Like and for dinner mostly. Yeah. Because we're and just we so tired. Spend less than like 20 euros yeah, for a meal for both of us. Yeah, Maybe less than that. So Anne and I, we stayed for four nights and I think it was perfect, but you can also do it for like three days. I think three, three nights, four days yeah. is perfect. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We just wanted to spend that extra day because Santorini is my dream destination. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. This is where we end the vlog. Please, please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it really does help our channel yes. out. And we really do appreciate the comments and yeah. the likes and the support you guys have been giving us so mm -hmm. love you guys for that and follow us on social media for daily updates all right so we'll see you guys in the next destination till next time Bye. peace